Well, the teams then today, Wimbledon are unchanged. That brief spell at the top of the table last month has been replaced by ninth position after two defeats and a draw. It's a side that's cost less than £200,000 to put together. John Fashion, who cost 125000 of that from Millwall. 14 of Wimbledon's 22 pros came up through their junior ranks. Liverpool, it's estimated that the champions cost some £3 million in transfer fees. Today, without Kenny Dalgleish, who's got a back injury, John Walk wears the number seven shirt. None of this side, incidentally, has ever played at Wimbledon. The sub, Barry Venison, though, he was here with Sunderland last season. Nicholl pumping it forward towards Whelan. Brian Gale. Beglin. Taking on Gage. One full back against another, and the Liverpool man wins it. Played inside for Mulby. And Besson coming out, and the Wimbledon captain grabbing the ball when it began to look a little dangerous for the home side. Well, if he's one eccentric goalkeeper, what about the fellow at the other end, Bruce Grobbler? Good to see him back in action again after that injury that kept him out after he sustained an injury in the charity shield. Galliers trying to get Wise away, the two small men in a fairly big Wimbledon side, played in early by Gage towards Alan Cork. And Sanchez with a shot just over the top. That was quite a good chance there for Wimbledon. And big Laurie Sanchez may best just be a little disappointed that he didn't make more of it. Cork battling with Hansen in the air, falling invitingly for Sanchez. It's not on. And Whelan on the break. Onside, taken down well. Real trouble here for Wimbledon. And it's wide. Well, there was a great chance there for Liverpool on the counter thrust. He took it beautifully in his stride, Ronnie Whelan. And as Besson came out, played it past the keeper, but sadly for Liverpool, past the far post. towards John Fashionu, Cork's in there as well, and Fashionu will hope to get there first in the end. It was Gillespie who could take no chances and got it away. Again, these two big strikers are causing a few problems. And there was no time for finesse there. The ball had to be belted away to safety. Hodges, left foot. All be away. Just crossing it in once more. Fashion was right in there. And came off the Liverpool defender. It'll be another corner. Big strong man who uh, took quite a buffeting there as Grobelar came out. Grobelar with the kick. His walk, good run from midfield, that one. And Besant, well, he went through his hands. It'll be a corner. And it'll be uh, taken fairly quickly. And his walk gets hold of that one. And Liverpool get a corner. Whelan towards Mulvey. Hodges. Beglin. McMahon making the break this time, cut out by Gale, but not very far. John Walk. Ian Rush. Sanchez got it in there, but now it's Whelan with the shot. Goal kick to Wimbledon. Sanchez. And 
here's Hansen. Space away on the left for Mulby. Referee uh, signaling that Fashion can come back onto the field. But there are problems at the other end at the moment for Wimbledon. McMahon to Mulby. And it's there! And Liverpool in the lead. A little over five minutes of the second half gone. Maybe a slight question mark against Dave Besant in goal. It's Mulby's first goal of the season, apart from two penalties. And that's what puts Liverpool 1-0 into the lead. Kale has gone to the near post. Morris is in there too, Cork and Fashionu. But Mulby's header gets it away for Liverpool. Helped on by McMahon, but there's Galliers. That was a ball that... Finds Hodges. Gage battling away. Whelan comes away with it, though. Plenty of Liverpool players forward. That was a good ball played by Rush to McMahon. And Rush is on the break as well. That's played into the path of Ian Rush. And he never fails with that sort of chance. The arms go up again for the 14th time this season for Ian Rush. And Liverpool go two into the lead. A magnificent breakaway in the true Liverpool tradition and finishing of the quality that you expect from a man like Ian Rush. Good play here by McMahon, although it was a pass by Rush that released him in the first place and deadly finishing there by Rush. Wheeler. Rush. And McMahon. Sanchez. Went to burn. And Sanchez on the far side. Might make something of this. Wise is in there too. And in the end, it was Lawrence who was forced to put it over his own crossbar for the corner. Hodges will take it. Dale and Morris are in the box already. Hansen's header away. Steve Galliers to Laurie Sanchez. Kept in for Carlton Fairweather. And he's got his crossing well. Well, Robola was groping for that one. Wise hoped to get in on the far side. And Wimbledon was saying, was there a foul on the little number seven? No, said the referee. It's a goal kick. Here come Liverpool. Colby. Rush. And McMahon. Played by Rush. Walk trying to get Rush in again. And the flag was up. Persistence and their enthusiasm at the end of a long afternoon is deserved. Wise, in fact, had Robinard groping for that one. It was turned back beautifully by Hodges, and there's the big man Fairweather up and in. Now we might get quite a finish. It was in the last minute last week that uh, 
Wimbledon saved themselves with a goal by Fashionu against Southampton. Are we going to get a repeat dose now? Certainly been a much better second half. Besant right outside his box again. And now he need to get back. He won't. Time to make another clearance, this time finding Winterberg. We're into time added on. It's the last fling, really, for Wimbledon now. And those cagey Liverpool Warriors look like getting the better of them. Rushes through the final decisive shot. And it's all up with Wimbledon now. Rush's second goal. Liverpool's third. Kenny Dow Gleish can sit down, a happy, contented, a relieved and smiling man. And for sure, it's three points for the champions. Past Besant. And at the end, it's the sort of goal your eye might have scored. Three one, two of them to Ian Rush. And here are Wimbledon again. Across the face of that Liverpool goal and a goal kick. Referee looking at the watch. Final whistle and a victory for Liverpool, but a lot of credit to Wimbledon as well, who battled so hard for so long and really it seemed in the box didn't get many of the breaks. Malby giving Liverpool the lead early in the second half. Rush with a beautiful counter thrust making it two. Fairweather just giving us the thought that there might still be a sensation in the air. Thoughts that were killed right at the last, inevitably it seems, by Ian Rush. Well, good entertainment in beautiful conditions here at Wimbledon and the game played in a really good spirit as you can see with that picture there and a final score it's Wimbledon 1 Liverpool 3